All right guys, welcome back to Bulletproof Technologies. Today we're gonna to try to do a little vlog-ish. Um, it's gonna be an update video. I'm gonna to try to do these at least once a week so you guys get in depth. We're still gonna be doing our builds, we're still gonna be doing everything else we do, but this is just gonna be an extra. That way you guys know what's going on, what's going on behind the scenes, and then you can still get our wonderful videos. Um, let us know what you think about these, if you want us to keep doing them, if we need to improve on them, whatnot. So this is going to be number zero, number one, whatever you want to think about it. But uh, today, well, this week we got rid of the Rust 250. I sold that, got me a new truck. I got me a little 05 Dodge Dakota. Something a little bit better on gas mileage, more fuel efficient, more useful for our channel. That way we can do videos on vehicles that are more up to date. That way you guys are more informed. And we're going to do some projects, bed lights, running lights, stuff like that, not much. Um, but today we're going out to the barn and work on Andrew's Chevy K10. And um, we're gonna try to get it running either this week or next week. And we're gonna go from there. But uh, I'm gonna stop at the hardware store to get some parts. Over here at the barn well just got here after looking at our shooting range and it was all torn up from our windstorm we had on a couple days ago and you're just having problems uh getting in the barn turn the lights on i want to see where i'm going geez we gotta clean up in here so like it... your work on the truck yeah especially a gm truck because you have to use different wrenches for every size nut yeah, it loves having different size nuts. And here she sits. And looks like she has an engine now. Let's see what's under her box. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's all brand new. Look at it. Old brand new motor. I don't know. We might see if it runs today. Oh, you think we won't get a run? No, I don't have all the parts for it. You don't have all the parts for it. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I Typical Chevy owner has to be under it all the time. Yeah, no. That's an awful lot. Yeah, you're peeing fluid everywhere. Why are you leaking it? I don't know. I can't figure it out. <clears throat> That's not leaking that bad. It's coming from uh, up here on the side of the motor. I don't know. Trying to say, it might have been from last night when I um, primed it, and that—that's just the fluid. But that's an awful lot. It looks pretty clean. Well, from us looking at it, the camera looks like it's poop brown. Yeah, I think that's from last night, cause it has to be. Yeah, cause it, it ran down the side of the block here from when it shot up. Yeah. Hit the side of the firewall. Yep, yeah, probably. All right. I didn't put some oil on it to clean it out. Yeah, guess we gotta work on it more. All right, we're gonna look at Andrew's ingenuity. I know. Yeah. When all else fails and you want to try to get something up, just weld it. This poor jack will never be the same. It will. I'm going to take the weld out. That's what's nice about plasma gouging. It's very uh, accurate. Is it holding? Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Move your board. Move the board. Wait a little bit. Oh. There oh, thank God. Thank God. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold it real quick. We have never gotten this far, guys. I got a bolt right here. It has to rotate. It has to rotate. It's 
I got a bolt up here. All right, oh, hold on, let me, let me push it up, you guys. I got one bolt in. What? I got a bolt in. That's not even fucking possible. It's not I, even rotated properly. I got a bolt in. I'm serious, I got a bolt in. Okay. I mean, let me get this one in down here and we'll push that. It's holding it. I know. I need to push this fucking neck. Let's get this jerk. That's a precious one. It won't. There's one bolt. I'll let it in. All right. All right. Which way do you gotta go? It needs to go. Just pretty much push up. Thread, damn you. 